pump up the volume, pump up the volume. Pump that bass. Close up of the wheels before I show you what I'm gonna show you today. And as you can see the gloss black, there's a ton. See that? See that in the camera? I hope you could pick that up. So I've been working on this for well over a year, way before I started this YouTube channel. Uh, just frustrated with every manufacturer's wheel cleaner on the market. And after going through chemical manufacturer all over the country, even Canada and in Germany, I feel that I have a solution that is 90% there and I'm going to show it to you now. I'm going to do a quick demo on my GT350 gloss black wheel that has not been cleaned in about four days. Uh, so you can see a lot of the accumulated brake dust, uh, rust from the rotors and everything else in between. So um, I'm still working on packaging, still working on pricing, uh, still trying to figure out the best way to market it and bring it to market uh, for the retail mass market. So also looking for a name for the product. Uh, and I want to post this quick intro video. I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear how you want it packaged. How much would you be willing to pay for it? Do you want it in a pre-diluted form? Do you want it in a concentrate? Uh, will you be willing to invest in a specialized applicator, which means a pump-up foamer or a pneumatic charge foamer? Uh, these, are, these are really important questions that I have to figure out financially on how much further we're going to go with this. So I'm going to just going to grab the solution. I'm going to hit the wheel and uh, set the camera up on a tripod. I'm going to show you a little bit about how it works. All right, guys, we're back. So uh, I'm going to show you the application of the wheel cleaning solution uh, that I'm really planning to bring to the market very, very soon for everybody, not just my subscribers on the channel, but everybody out there. This is a very, very unique solution because it does not have the iron activator ingredient in there, the one that I feel is really caustic to inhale. It doesn't have any fancy scent that's trying to cover up and mask a caustic, harsh, compounded formula. It basically has like no scent at all. You can get it on your skin, you can get it on your paint, will not affect ceramic coatings of your wheels, even sealant coatings or waxes that you do on your wheels or on the lower body panels of your car. It is 100% safe, it's gonna be affordable, it works outstanding, and uh, this is gonna be a game changer. So right now I'm applying it with an industrial commercial grade foaming system because that's really the way it works the best. Uh, as far as staying on the wheel, dwelling, breaking up the contaminants, and then you can just hose it off. Uh, you don't have to go in there. It's not like the gel wheel cleaners where you have to spray them on and then wait and then go and literally scrub the wheel by hand anyway. So it's kind of like a waste of time. Uh, you know, society today, we're fast paced. We don't have a lot of time. We don't have a lot of patience. We need something quick, effective, affordable, and safe. And uh, the safety aspect for me is the high priority because, I mean, I try all this stuff on the market and uh, I go to bed at night and I have the inhalation of the fumes and everything else uh, that lingers with my hands and everything else. So uh, watch, here we go. And that's it guys. Another thing I want to tell you is this solution also will remove previous wheel dressings from your tires. You don't need to spray another ingredient onto the tires to do a tire cleaning. Now you could leave it like this, get a tire brush, and if you really, you know, depending on how soiled they are and how much time you wait in between, uh, you know, doing your wash. I'm going to grab the camera and bring it up close. I want to show you guys what it's doing already. Okay. You see what it's doing? How it's already breaking up all the brake dust, all the grime. You see the runoff right there? Okay, so no scrubbing. This is it, sprayed it on. There's absolutely zero kickback of fumes, zero. Okay, and I could get this on my hands like that. No problem whatsoever, it's totally safe. So um, the way I've been working with this product right now, I pretty much will spray all four wheels, come back, and then gradually hose them off. You could hose them off, you could power wash them off, it's totally up to you. Uh, I'm just gonna use the garden hose today. 
and uh, you spray it liberally. I'm using a professional sprayer. That's something that I want to hear from you guys. Will you be willing to invest in a professional sprayer for the outstanding and incredible wheel cleaner that I'm going to introduce to you guys? Do you want to see this product in an aerosol package where you would buy it in a can and spray it on and uh, you know do your thing to eliminate the foamers? But there's going to be some limitations to that because the, the product may have to be reformulated. Uh, there's going to be limitations as far as yield and how much you're going to get out of a can, and it may not be very cost effective. I want to make this cost effective for you guys. I want to sell it in either quarts or gallons. You could pre dilute the solution yourself, or we could do it ourselves here, sell it to you with the proper foamer, the proper tip. Uh, and like I said, this is going to be a game changer for all you guys. Let me just grab the hose and I'm going to show you guys uh, you know, the wheel when it's done. But you guys could see what it does there. So guys, you can't get easier than that. Um, of course, I recommend you follow up after your rinse to always dry the wheel. Use a very good microfiber towel. Uh, my usual method is I take a little Chemical Guys V07 or even the uh, the Griot's Garage Best of Show spray wax, spray it on the towel, and then I'll just go over the spokes, you know, because these are gloss black. But I just want to show you guys here. You see my fingers? Perfectly clean. Perfectly clean. Okay. Total game changer, guys. So, um, just this is going to be a quick intro video. I want to hear your comments. I want to hear your suggestions. Application method, price, packaging, and even the name. What should I call this product? What should I call it for the mass market? And uh, stay tuned, man. I got a couple, I got a handful of products that I've been working on. Uh, and I'm probably going to introduce three to five products, most likely three to begin. I'm going to get an uh, online store going up with a website. The website's going to be broken up into car reviews, automotive blog, and they're going to have a shopping thing for car care and a lot of the specialty things that I offer from upholstery, radar detectors, tools, uh, anything in between that's custom. Uh, I'm going to throw it up on the website because uh, this stuff is fun. I enjoy doing this in between uh, you know, my daily grind, and I'm having a lot of fun doing it. So questions, comments, post them below, autofanatic at yahoo.com. Look forward to hearing from you guys. See you soon. This is a journey into sound. This is a journey into sound. A journey which along the way will bring to you new color, new dimensions.